Hi everyone, I'm Jackie from the Auburn Area Branch Library. Well, it's the holiday season, and you know what that means, it's time to make holiday crafts. The craft that I've chosen to show you how to make today is this beautiful sheet music display stand. Now this is very easy to make, and check it out, it lights up, how cool is that? I gotta admit I'm a sucker for any decoration that lights up, it just gives it that little extra added sparkle. So, now that you know what we're making, let me show you what we'll need to make it. So here are the supplies you'll need for this craft. Candle holder from the dollar store. Spray paint, my favorite black hammered spray paint. Um, a strong tape like duct tape. I use glue dots in the video, but you can use poster putty or uh, uh, little strips of duct tape. Another one of my favorite craft items, Mod Podge. I use the matte style, but you could also use gloss. A sponge brush to apply the Mod Podge. Scissors. A canvas on a wooden frame. I used an 8x10, but you can also use a 5x7, depending on what size you want. These also came from the dollar store. Two pages of sheet music. Uh, I downloaded these from the internet. If you Google free vintage downloadable Christmas sheet music. I know that's a lot of words. Um, a lot of options will come up and you can pick out what you like and size it down to the size that you need for your canvas. So I had to size mine down to an 8x10 size. If you want it on a 5x7 canvas, you'll have to size it down even smaller. Piece of white cardstock paper. Fairy lights. These are what fairy lights look like and they are battery operated. You will need a glue gun. I used E6000, but I think you can get away without using it. And then to finish up, to make it look pretty, a little ribbon and a couple of decorative picks. And that's all we'll need. So now that you know what we're going to use, let's get started. So let me explain how I got this far. I took a plain canvas, covered the surface completely with Mod Podge, I took my blank sheet of sheet music, adhered it to the top, smoothing out the wrinkles, and I let it dry. For the back, I took a plain piece of cardstock, I attached a different piece of sheet music to it using Mod Podge. I put Mod Podge all over the cardstock, stuck the sheet music down to it, let that dry for an hour, and I covered the top of that sheet music to seal it in. Now I'm going to cover the sheet music on the canvas to seal that in. Now that I have both pieces of sheet music mod podged, I'm going to put the lights in the back of the canvas. I'm going to turn the lights on so I can kind of see where they're going to fall within the frame. And I'm going to put the battery pack at the bottom of the sheet music. These are on a wire so they just kind of Go any which way you bend them. Kind of hard to get them all wrangled together, but I'm trying to kind of spread them out evenly. Then I'm going to take some glue dots and move them to the sides. to put the backing on the canvas. Kind of look and make sure you like the lights spread out the way they are. Stick that in there. And I'm going to use the same glue dots and 
start gluing the backing down. Now, when we get down to the bottom, I'm going to have to do something a little special so that we can have access to that battery pack because at a certain point you're going to need to change the batteries and also you're going to need to turn the light on and off. So I'm going to try to cut a little access door here if I can. So now I've got both pieces of sheet music on the canvas. And I'm going to tell you what, I went back in and I hot glued the edges because the glue dots just weren't looking the way I wanted them to look. But hey, it's a live and learn process and that's what crafting is. You try something and if it doesn't work, you move on to something else. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this black ribbon all the way, all the way around the edge of the canvas just to give it a little bit more of a finished look. That way you don't see the canvas sticking out. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the bottom and take it all the way around. try to add a little decorative bow at the top. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, so now it's time to glue it to the base. This is a clear candlestick that I showed you earlier. Took it outside and I spray painted it. Now I'm going to glue it to the canvas. Now keep in mind, this is the side that's the front of the, the project. So I am going to move it forward on the candlestick so the gap in the candlestick will be towards the back where that door is. Until it dries. Okay, so on the back, I cut little slits to make a little opening here. This way you can get in here to turn the lights on and off, and also when you need to oops, change out the batteries, you can pull that battery pack right out to change it. Now to cover up this little opening here, put in your decorative picks to cover it and hold it in and nobody will even know it's there. And here it is, the finished product. Now keep in mind, you can put any sheet music printed off on copy paper in here, maybe a song that's special to you. Thank you for stopping by and making this craft with me today. And from all of us at the Bay County Library System, have a happy and healthy holiday season. <laughs>